Now what's really great about your CP300 is the included software. And the best part about it is it's free. So feel free to visit our website for those latest and greatest updates anytime at www.avermedia-usa.com presentation. And you see our software is actually complementary to an interactive whiteboard. The reason for that is because we made the buttons on the control palette large, bright, and colorful to make it easier to use with an interactive whiteboard. So the next time you're using your interactive whiteboard, make sure you use those large buttons to make it easier to press and control with your hand. For more information on connecting your CP300, please view our Connecting Your CP300 to an Interactive Whiteboard section. Your CP300 also comes complete with all software and drivers for both PC and Mac. And this new software allows you to control your CP300 directly from your computer. You can also capture live images to your computer, record live video with audio, and make those on-screen annotations. To install the software, first insert the disk into your computer's CD drive. Follow the prompts and you'll be ready to go in minutes. Once installed, connect the included USB cable to your CP300 and to your computer. Double click on the AverVision software icon and the application will open. Below the camera image window, you will see your control palette docked to the window. There are two rows of control buttons. They are document camera settings, where you can control all the features and functions of the CP300. The recording selection, where the CP300 can record live video with audio if you have a microphone connected to your computer. When you click on this icon, select your desired saving location. There is also the image capture, which allows you to capture images and or objects of your choice. Simply click the button and your captured image will appear in a separate window. Next is the gallery, which allows you to play back your captured images and videos. Simply click on this icon and navigate to the location of your saved file. Now you can play back your file. There is also the printer icon. You can click the printer icon to send your image directly to the printer. Also is the network icon, which allows you to share your document camera images with another computer within a network. Next is the setting icon, which allows you to adjust your recording resolution, continuous image capture interval, and default location to save your files. Now, moving on to the second row, where you can find all your annotation tools. These are some great tools where your students can express all sorts of creativity. You can use the freehand drawing icon to annotate your images. You can also use your line drawing tool to create more structured and straight lines. You can also create some shapes such as rectangles and ellipses. This is great to illustrate geometric equations or even enhance those basic motor skills. 
What's great is for all of these annotation tools, you can select the line width, color, and even the fill color for your shapes. You can even make your colors semi-transparent as well as solid. Like I said, it is a place where both you and your students can really make learning fun. Moving on to your text icon, you can control the font color, style, and size. And display your text anywhere on your image. You also have your select and paste icon that allows you to select an area and paste it into another editing or drawing program, such as Adobe Photoshop or Microsoft Word. And of course, your eraser, which allows you to erase any mistake or unwanted text, image, design, or shapes. Now that you know all about the control palette, you should also know that you can enlarge your window to be full sized. To do so, simply double click on the title bar at the top of the window. To get out of the full screen, simply press the escape button or move your mouse to the upper right corner until you see the resize button. To hide your control palette, click on the arrow to the left of the palette and your palette will be hidden.